Hello everyone and welcome to another update log. Oh, actually, it's a vlog, isn't it? Because I may not be recording my face, but it's still a video, so I might have to change that. Anyway, uh, I'm today showing you Quest World version 2.4. 2.4 is a huge update to Quest World, and I'm going to show you all the stuff which has been added or tweaked in version 2.3 and 2.4. So yeah, if I open, if I open up the editor uh, I already created a review quest for demonstration purposes here um, yeah there's a new option which is show in quest books so usually by default it's activated so if I not open up my quest book you will see this category here but if I disable that option uh, it will no longer appear in the quest book for users so you can set up like background quests which complete uh, without the player being able to check on them. Uh, it might have a use for some of you. Anyway, it's in there, so you can use it if you want. And the next feature is going to be a new test quest. Yeah. And you can see three new buttons have, been appear have appeared in the quest editor. One being order completion mode, and I'm going to show you what that means. So if I set up two quests here, one submit one stone, and the second one also submit one stone, because that's the default one. And I uh, enable order completion mode. Normally, you would be able to... Oh, I need to turn the visibility rule back, back on. And whoops, that was the wrong button. There we go. So normally you would be able to submit one stone for this task and you will be able to submit one stone for this task. However, now this task has been locked. So this task stays locked until you complete that task. So you need to complete them in order. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? So you can set up storylines uh, going like talk to guy number one, talk to guy number two, talk to guy number three. And people can no longer be like, oh yeah, I'm going to talk to person number three first. No longer going to work if you're using that option. So yeah, um, the next option is the autoclaim rewards one. If you enable that, people will, own, will no longer be able to claim their rewards in the quest book. Uh, the rewards will automatically be handed to them. Uh, when they complete the quest. So, if you complete a quest and you set up item rewards, they will instantly get the items. Or if you specify comments to be when, the comments will be instantly executed upon someone completing the quest. Combine this with a, a visibility rule, and you have a perfect time reward system. Oh, I just spoiler that. Uh, there are now playtime quests, so you can set up things like play for one hour and comments will be triggered. However, you're not going to see this in your quest book as it's background stuff. So yeah, you can now set up background quests. And I'm going to continue with the last option, which is delete database. So if player A has a progress of 30% uh, on this quest, and player B has completed the quest but is on cooldown, you do this and every data associated with this quest has been deleted so any player's progress on that quest has been locked uh, has been removed so all progress of them is from the 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 so all pro I can't speak today good lord so all your player's progress of this quest is deleted. So yeah, you can uh, add stuff without worrying about players who have already completed the quest cheating the game because they skipped the part you new newly added. So you can just reset that progress. Yeah. And another thing that has been changed, if you now delete a quest, uh, if you now delete a quest, I'm not going to do that right here, it will automatically reset their progress as well. So if you delete the cat if you delete the entire quest, all quests progress of all players will automatically be deleted, be deleted as well. Yeah, that has been addressed as a bug 
but it's not actually a bug, it's just an unimplemented feature which I now implemented. So yeah, um, now to the big stuff which has been added, the missions. A lot of stuff has, has been changed here and I'm just going to show you the new, uh, newly added quest types which is join or is join actually new? new? I think join is new. So yeah, I can uh, do things like join the server four times and you will get a reward. Then there's also playtime quest, as I said earlier. So you can specify things like uh, play one hour and you will get items, which is pretty cool. And then there's also kill NPC. Uh, you can set that up using citizens. So citizens NPCs can be used here. So I'm just going to say kill Mr. Cookie Slime one time, times, well, one time. And yeah, if I now kill that NPC here, I'm just going to give myself a diamond sword for that. Or 64, I guess. No! Ah, oh, dang it. That's a bummer. Anyway, uh, I think you can all imagine what it would be like. So yeah, you can kill NPCs and get rewards for that. So yeah. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you would already be uh, the tweaked stuff. So uh, the quest types kill named mob and kill uh, now count for projectiles and also the kill NPC quest. So if I use a bow and shot, uh, shoot an NPC or a mob with an arrow, it will still count as a kill, although I haven't made that kill, but my arrow has. So arrows you shoot will also trigger kill quests now. So that has been fixed. And so yeah, now the really, really most important stuff. Dialogues. You can now set up dialogues for your quests. And I'm just going to change that to um, play for one minute. Oh no, I'm just going to set that to kill NPC. So it won't complete by, uh, right now. So if I edit the dialogue, uh, you can see you can type in any chat message. You can also use color codes and it will be saved to a dialogue file, which will be, uh, I don't know, shown to the player kind of. Uh, screw that. So you can type in a dialogue and it will be shown to the player later when he c c completes the quest. That also works for chat colors and comments. So if I do slash say hi, uh, the comment will be added to the dialogue and it will be executed by the console. And if I use the player variable, it will be replaced with a player currently seeing this, uh, yeah, the dialogue, who is currently reading the dialogue. So, and you can just do exit and the brackets to exit this editor. I'm not going to show you an, uh, a dialogue now. I'm just going to add a video right here uh, showing you how the dialogue works. So yeah, uh, what you can also do now is uh, custom names for your quest. So if I do left click, uh, you can edit the mission's name. So I do kill Mr. Cookie Slime, he's evil. It will now appear as that in your quest book. So instead of saying kill Mr. Cookie Slime one time, uh, it will now say kill Mr. Cookie Slime, he's evil. So you can give your missions a custom name. Uh, this is useful if you're using resource packs, for example, and you rena rename zombies in your resource pack 
to, I don't know, Daleks or Cyberman, you can now set that up in your quest's missions title as well. So then there's also the time frame button here. Uh, complete mission within. So yeah, you can do stuff like, I don't know, uh, I'm just going to, whoops, not delete it. I'm just going to delete the mis mission's custom name and it will now be kill Mr. Cookie Slime one time within five hours. So if the quest has not been completed within five hours of the start of it, it will fail and you need to restart that quest, uh, that mission again. So if I do like kill 10 zombies within one minute, if a player kills the first zombie, the counter is going to start and when he kills a zombie which has been killed uh, out of a time frame, it will fail. So I don't know, if I need one minute and ten seconds to kill ten zombies, it will fail because I killed the last zombie not within the time frame of one minute. I think it's clear on how that works. So yeah. Um, then there's also the death penalty or the death reset option which only works on some quests. You will need to find out on which quest types these work. So yeah, the complete mission within option doesn't work on all quest types either. Uh, just figure it out yourself. And the death reset option is pretty useful. So it will now say kill Mr. Grusam one time within five hours without dying. So if you die, your progress is lost. Basically, if you complete the quest and then die, it will not reset your progress. But during your during that, but while you complete that quest, but while you, oh god, I can't speak to you. So yeah, if uh, the quest is, for example, kill zombie kill three zombies and you die while killing these three zombies it will no longer count and the progress will reset because you can basically set up kill streaks and you can also utilize the custom name option here to set uh, that text to get a kill streak of three so yeah um, that's basically it for quest world version 2.4 i hope you've enjoyed that and see you next time Bye.